What you are looking at is every firearm I've ever carried on my person. <sighs> Super excited to tell you about these holsters. <laughs> Never ever will I talk about a product that I don't actually use or endorse or would spend the money myself to have that product, which is why I'm excited for today's video. This is a holster for my six hour P365X that I bought from a company called Tolster. They're a company based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Several months ago, I posted a video about how I even got into firearms. And wouldn't you know, they reached out to me a few weeks ago wanting to know more about my story and also to send me some gear to try out, which is what I'm about to go to the post office to pick up. I think that's one of the coolest parts about this whole content creation journey is like, this is a dream. Like for companies to want and value my opinion for products that they release into the community that I'm a part of is just amazing. I literally dreamt of days like this where I'm headed to the post office to pick up another package um, with awesome products that I'm going to review. I'm gonna share with you guys how I got into firearms and show you guys some of this gear uh, once I get back to the house, AKA studio. And uh, we're gonna go from there. I don't know what they sent over. I don't know what's in the box, but I'm super excited to go get it. So here we go. We have arrived at my local post office and I'm going to get my stuff. Go. Look at number 12. Here we are. That's what I'm talking about. Carry with confidence. You can do that with this brand. Super excited to see what is in this box. Sounds like some holsters, maybe some gear. Shout out to this big ass cactus in my front yard. In my booth. So obviously we got the goods. <laughs> I was clearly too excited to wait and unbox this stuff on camera, but here we are. We got merch, we got hats, we got some more merch, and we got holsters on holsters on holsters. And I'm super excited to share this with you guys, not because I'm obligated to. In fact, Noah and his team sent me this stuff not to talk about what was in this box, but they wanted me to share my story about how I got involved in the 2A community, what got me interested in firearms in the first place. And while I wish I had a better story than the one that I'm about to tell you now, it is what it is. And I hope that this maybe resonates with someone out there uh, that went through a similar situation and did something about it. Many, many years ago, when I was around about 21, I was in a domestic violence situation. Unfortunately, my older sister was in an abusive relationship. And one day I moseyed on over to their apartment. Um, I forgot what we were doing, but I was invited. Uh, but when I got there, this person was talking to my sister just recklessly, you know, being disrespectful and being the person that I was and am still today, you know, that just didn't sit well with me. So I decided to come to her defense and say something. Uh, we ended up exchanging words. He didn't like it. He left the room and came back with a firearm. And not only did he have the firearm, but he walked up to me and pointed it to my head. Now, obviously I was scared. Like I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be, you know, this big, bad, tough person. In that moment, I was scared for my life. You know, this guy was unhinged. Obviously he was extremely abusive and that was known information. But for whatever reason, while I was, you know, fearing for my life, I didn't think that I was gonna die that day. Um, even though I had a gun pointed to my head, like, I don't know if it was God or, or what the case was, but in my heart of hearts, I knew I was not going to die and I was gonna to live to see another day. And I decided in my mind in that moment that I was never gonna be in a situation where, you know, God forbid I ever had a firearm pulled on me again, but I was never going to not be in a position where I had a fighting chance to defend myself with the same level of force, i.e. I was going to go and get me a gun. 
whatever I had to do, wherever I had to go get the money because I was a broke college kid at the time, I was going to leave that apartment and go get a gun. When I was finally able to leave the apartment, I got to my car, sat there, and I just, you know, I cried. It was, that was probably the, one of the most charged situations I've ever been in. I don't think to that point I'd ever, you know, been in a life and death situation in that regard, you know, due to violence, senseless violence at that. Um, but I made up in my mind I was going to, to purchase a gun that day. So I pulled out my phone, researched the closest gun store, drove there, and I bought my first firearm. It was a Taurus, um, what was it? It was a pretty cheap gun. Like I said, I was in college. I didn't really have that much money at the time. And uh, I actually just got rid of it a few years ago, but it was a Taurus something or other. And uh, yeah, I have been a an active member of the 2A community ever since then. I have fallen in love with firearms. They're just a really huge part of my life, especially now that I have a family. My husband thought I was crazy when we first met because of the amount of firearms that I had, you know, strategically placed around my house at that time. And um, yeah, I have just been a proponent of you know, exercising my Second Amendment rights. I live in a state where I am free to do so. I conceal carry. Um, I have concealed carry permit, even though I don't need one. I just really enjoy being a part of this community. Every time I go to the range, I meet a new amazing person, whether it's one of the range masters wanting to fiddle with my firearm that I brought that day, or just, you know, the person next to me, we just strike up a conversation and you meet people from all walks of life, from the military to civilians and everybody in between. I am a huge proponent of exercising the rights, but also being a responsible to a community member and you know getting out to the range getting training dry firing if you have the option to do so and uh getting to do stuff like this this is the first time a company has sent me uh, gear like this so i want to show you what i got now that you have my story uh, i'm interested to know how you got into firearms what introduced you to the 2a community was it a situation that you went through you know are you from a family that just has firearms are you military comment down below how you got introduced to the 2a community so now that that is out of the way i want to tell you guys about this dope ass company called toaster they are american born and bred they are based out in tulsa oklahoma and they specialize in the kydex types of holsters they have very minimalist designs you know they're suitable for not only comfort i'm sitting here with the sig p365x on my hip and if it wasn't for the scratchy texture <laughs> on the handle um, i wouldn't even know that it's there like that's how comfortable these sit and this is the one that i actually purchased several years ago and i use it pretty much every day it's pretty cool that they um, have sent me some of their new stuff and seemingly for every firearm that i've ever carried on my purse my first one outside of that toy I didn't carry that on me um, during those times that I had it. Um, I would just put it in my purse or my backpack or whatever. But uh, the first firearm that I actually carried on my person was a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. So I'll show you the holster they sent me for that. Um, a Smith & Wesson m and Shield 2.0. Most recently, my 6-hour P365X. And my newest edition, which is my Glock 43X MOS. I want to show you guys what these awesome people sent me. All right, so now that that is out of the way, I wanted to take you guys through kind of the evolution of my everyday carry setup. But before I do that, just check out this shirt. I like, an, I like a nice minimalist shirt. You see, I wear black V-necks for every video. You know, this just kind of went with the aesthetic, so I figured I'd pop this on for the video. It is a very comfortable shirt. They spared no details on the design. Got the America patch toaster logo and some nice little details about the company in the back check out toaster.com for their awesome merch i'm going to take you one by one kind of through the evolution of my edc setup for the record i'm only going to do this once but every firearm on this table has been cleared there's nothing in the barrel they don't even have magazines i took those out not going to do that for each one of those i know you guys like to see that but i just feel like it's a waste of time because you can assume that before someone got on camera to talk about firearms they did their safety stuff there's mine first up is the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. This went with me everywhere back in the day. It even came with a little laser. The holster that they sent me for this firearm is called the Profile. They sent it to me in the OD green. It's just like that military, that that uh, classic military green that you think of. And uh, there's nothing too crazy about it. You have this little buckle here 
That is how you install it onto your belt. And it just, it fits. You know that it's in there because you hear that nice click. It's snug in there. It takes a little oomph to get it out. Uh, but you know that it's in there. You know that you're carrying safely. And they build all of their holsters for comfortability and function. Obviously, quality is part of those specs, but that's a given. So I carry appendix. I have this here. And you can't even tell that I have it on. This is a pretty form-fitting shirt, just like most of the V-necks you see me wearing. And I would... I would wear this. If I wanted to carry my 380 for the day, this is the holster that I would go with. It's comfortable. And when I sit down, I don't even know it's there. Obviously I know it's there, but you know what I mean? It feels good. I can draw from my head while I'm sitting down. It's easy to draw from the hip with this installed and it's easy to put it back where it belongs. I'm a fan of simplicity. I'm a fan of minimalism. I'm a fan of stuff that does what it's supposed to do. This was made to hold the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard and it does just that effortlessly. On to the next. Next up in the lineup is the Contour Series in black camo. This one fits my Smith & Wesson MMP Shield 2.0 just as effortless as the last one. This is actually an over the waistband holster though. So instead of being inside my pants, it goes on the outside. This would be good for, you know, your everyday concealed carry. This would also be good for a range day. And I'm gonna show you how you put it on. This actually has two belt loops on either side. This is made out of, you know, the Kydex material and it is form fitting. Without you guys getting too excited, let me go ahead and put this on my belt. <laughs> And it's just as simple as the last one. You just put it through there like so. And even with this form-fitting shirt on, this is kind of how most of my t-shirts fit anyway. It is just as secure, just as concealed as the firearm that is like half its size. I carry appendix and it is just as easy to grab this one as it was the bodyguard. And it's just as simple to put this back in. And then I can sit down and not think twice about it. You understood the assignment for each and every one of these pistols and I appreciate you. Your customers appreciate you. On to the next. Of all the firearms I've ever carried, this one has to be the one that I carried the longest and probably my favorite thus far. And the reason this holster is already on here is because this is the holster that I purchased with my own money several years ago when I started carrying this P365X to begin with. It just does what it needs to do. I'm not gonna make this video about the gun itself, but I love this thing. It just has a place near and dear to my heart. But um, this one I've carried for years. It shows minimal wear and tear. All of these holsters are adjustable from the cant to the retention and everything in between. You can really just make these holsters fit like you want them to. So I'm excited. As much as I love this one, I'm excited to see how I feel about this one, this is actually called the Range Plus, and as the name implies, you would take this to a range day, so you can carry this on your hip. You can install it, you know, with one of those little leg doohickeys here and draw from like your leg thigh area. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you would install this on your belt loop, which is extremely simple. Just shove it in there like so, and it's in there. So I would kind of carry this here if I was gonna practice drawing from my hip. And just like the others, you just stick it in there. You hear that click and you know that it's in there. It is not going anywhere. And it just, it just feels good. It feels like it's supposed to be there. I can easily draw, you know, set up, get my eyes on the target, look down range, whatever I'm doing, and then easily put this back. I'm not even looking at it. I'm looking at the camera. Pull it out here and then, I can pull it out here and look that way. I'm just that cool. Whatever. And then if I was at the range and I needed to have a seat, I could easily sit down with this and, you know, carry on a conversation with my neighbor. Did I tell you the name of this? Yes, this is the Range Plus on the waistband paddle holster by Toaster. On to the next. We have my first and only Glock. This is the 43X MOS edition. Again, this video is not about the firearms themselves, 
but the holsters that were made for them. Um, I plan to do an in-depth video about my first impressions about this Glock. I haven't even shot this thing, but I let them know that I do have this in my possession and they were kind enough to send me a holster for this one. So this is called the Profile Plus. And it is just as sexy as the other ones. The colorway is the black carbon fiber and man, they just don't miss. It's as minimal as it is functional and it is sleek as it is comfortable. Let me go ahead and get this installed onto my belt like so. Got these metal prongs on there. Make sure it's nice and fastened. And it's just as simple as the others. Get that nice and snug in there hold it and just like the others you don't even know that I have this thing on and that is the purpose of carrying concealed it's supposed to be concealed people aren't supposed to know you're walking around with a firearm unless they know that you're walking around with a firearm it's comfortable I don't feel like it's like digging into my pelvis area it's not like impeding my movement at all and it's just really good quality from a really good company and I cannot say that enough man this was fun Obviously this was not an in-depth deep dive into each one of these holsters, but I did want to follow through on my promise to them, which was to get my story out there. I wanted to share how I got involved in the 2A community in addition to showcasing all this dope gear that they sent over to me. So I do plan to put each one of these through its paces and come back and give you an in-depth review um, on each one of these. So be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to hit the link in the descriptions to take you to some of these products. Some of these are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission if you do purchase through those links. It allows me to keep this channel going and keep my husband off my back because I buy a lot of stuff and I like to show it on this channel. And if I can offset some of those costs with just a small percentage um, of your purchases that doesn't cost you any additional, uh, that would be extremely helpful. Comment down below how you got introduced to the 2A community. I hope it was not a similar story to mine because nobody should have to go through that. You know, it would be nice if I just kind of just fell into the 2A community because as a U.S. citizen, it's my right to bear arms. But unfortunately, that was not the case. However, I'm grateful um, because if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't have discovered my love for firearms. I wouldn't be creating this content on my YouTube channel. And maybe I would have never met Noah at Tulsa who initiated this whole ordeal. Noah, I appreciate you and I look forward to getting more content out showcasing this amazing gear that you guys sent over. So. Till next time. Gosh, how am I gonna get these off? 380. Glock 43X MOS. Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 2.0. Six hour P365X. Let's 